We usually think the dangerous part of skiing is when you're racing down the mountain, but recently there's been a rash of accidents going up the mountain on the chairlifts, including one fatal incident. ABC's Clayton Sandell has more now on what you need to know to stay safe. As tens of thousands of skiers this holiday season come shushing down the slopes, it's getting up that's causing new concern after several serious and even one fatal fall from moving ski lifts. On Tuesday, a five-year-old in New York was sent to the hospital after falling 18 feet. On Saturday, 10-year-old Tyler Russell fell from a lift in Oregon. My foot's getting tired. I'm going to put my foot behind my snowboard. And then I was forward too much. After dangling by one hand, he plunged plummeted nearly 20 feet. And last weekend in upstate New York, a 44-year-old Brooklyn mother was killed after she fell 25 feet. Put this comfort bar down and sit still. Mike Russo is the safety manager at Copper Mountain Resort in Colorado. He says skiers need to know the risks and take safety seriously. Two years ago in New Mexico, Dude. this teen lost his balance trying to throw a snowball at a friend. Watch as he falls four stories but survives. What's one of the most dangerous times on the ski lift? You think you're going to drop something like a pole or a glove. It's best just to let that item drop and then somebody can go back around and pick it up for you. The ski industry says chairlifts are exceptionally safe and secure, noting that deaths are rare, 15 over the last four decades. Accidents happen, but overall I'm, I feel 100% safe. The Ski Association says you're more likely to die riding an elevator. For Good Morning America, Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Copper Mountain, Colorado.